Okay, welcome back you guys to another peach video. Today we're going to look at a follow-up on the tree, the three-year-old tree that we did last year that we pruned. And we're going to go through and look at some of the cuts that we did and how it has developed from the past season here. Just like we did on last year's video, we kind of took a look at the two trees that were planted together right here. They're both four-year-old trees. Last year they were both three-year-old trees, but this tree is probably twice the size of this one. You can see that this one has really taken off. It has compounded heavily and it has a, it definitely has a lot better start to life than this one. And I know in the comments, somebody had mentioned, they says, well, is this one a dwarf root? And is that one a full size tree? And at the time we bought them, they were supposed to be the exact same tree. Now, possible that that could be the case that that person said but from the way they were tagged they were supposed to be the exact same tree but there is one significant thing here that happened on this tree's life is that when he was young he took a major hit on this side of the tree and so you can see as we pruned this one and we had to t we had to go with the branch that was left on this side and build a new scaffolding out of it. It's probably a major reason why that one's a little bit behind compared to this one that you know didn't didn't seem to have any damages from a young tree. Because this tree happens to be a little bit smaller it's a little bit easier to get around and look at here and quicker to prune so I thought I'd make a good video out of this tree right here. We'll, we'll keep pruning this one and see if we can turn it into a great tree one day. So one of the first things you notice is where we had it all pruned last year and now you look at it and it's all filled back in again so the tree did its job it did a lot of growing it grew some peaches too for us they got eaten too fast but anyway you can see it's got just a whole 100 200 branches brand new branches in here and so the tree did a good job progressing where the peaches are going to be coming from this year so like this this main branch that we kept last year and you see that cut right there we kept that one. There's a bunch of brand new branches that grew off of it last year, but you'll notice on the branch, if you look at this shaft that comes down here, there's no peach buds actually coming off the branch. But as soon as you jump to this one, which is a brand new branch it grew this season, you have peach buds coming off it. So one of the things that they commonly teach you in the textbooks and maybe from other videos is that the peaches develop off two-year-old wood but it's a little bit confusing when they say two-year-old wood because it doesn't actually take two years to get that wood actually what happened was this just grew uh, the leaves were on it four or five months ago and it grew this brand new branch and so now for this season four four months or five months down the road you'll have peaches on it so it's kind of funny how that works but it's actually only about one year worth of time but they call it a two-year-old wood. So anyway, that's just something that commonly gets confused. I thought I'd show you our buds right here that are packed. And you can see three distinguished kind of outcroppings there. So the one in the middle is going to be the new branch or the new stem here. And it's going to grow leaves and head out that way. And then these two on the side are flowers. And we'll see if they... Are able to come to fruition but certainly when we come and thin later we probably will thin one of those off because we don't really need two last year we were working on structure heavily because we're trying to develop the tree into its big its adult um, form and they call it the open center form of course but uh, one of the things that we were trying to do was get four scaffolding branches here so if you look at them they're still here I think we can start doing a little looking here at we'll pick one of the scaffoldings that is coming out this way and just kind of look at some of the cuts we made last year so i think that's what i'm going to do today i'm going to cut that one i'm going to cut that one right there i'm going to take that one away and take that one away now that i have the structural i say well what about peach production and leaf production what we might do then with this branch down here is we say well look we know that we might not want this branch long term, but in the short term, over the next year or two, 
it might give us some good peaches. So we're going to head it off right there. So now here we have two horns coming up and that's a good thing. We like that 45 degree up, but we're going to head them off right here. Okay, let's come over to this one that we kept. We're going to cut that back off the spine and cut the one that's hanging low. So we're going to cut that whole thing right out of there. Bam, gone. But we're going to cut this one off and we're going to leave this one and this one. I know this one is headed out straight right now, but I can see how it's going. It'll work its way up. And then just for some extra leaf and peach, we'll keep this one here too for now. Okay, so there's that one. Like some of these ones that we left, you can see this cut right here and this cut right here. You can just see how big a lot of these branches have gotten. And... And it looks like we left this one and we trimmed it off. We headed it off right there from this little Y shape. And then from here, we have a whole nother 12 inches of growth out here and, and all sorts of growth that has happened. So let's go look over here now. So we, we trimmed this one off and it looks like we kept maybe a one up this way. And boy, this one really grew down here. It really put a lot of energy into this big big one up here and so when we headed this off here headed that off you can see how the growth right below it all these branches right below this this one and this one and this one and this one and even that one it just it kind of exploded like a firework where all the energy just went poof because we cut off we literally cut off all the all the uh plumbing going up this direction and the plumbing rerouted itself going into the other branches here. So now here's an interesting example in the tree of the tree deciding what it's going to do versus what you thought you were deciding for the tree. So when we chopped this one right here, we left this branch to go up this way. And I believe we left this branch right here to go up this way. In fact, you can see the, the little diebacks on those. So those were the two we kept to, to try to build our tree. Now the tree decided that it didn't, have much fondness for this so it just shot it straight out there and didn't do much with it but you go down here three inches lower it decided it's going to go with something new so it put all of its energy into this big horn that's coming up this way and it kind of did the same on this side where it didn't do too much with the one we kept and it decided to sh shoot up a new shoot and go nuts on that one so we're going to have to work with those we'll probably get rid of these two ones that it didn't like very good and we'll probably try to work with this big brand new one and maybe see if we can work with this one too okay so that here's another branch from last year that we kept and this decision that we used to keep this one was kind of a a temporary decision we said well maybe we get a peach or two off that this little thing coming off here first of all it's bending down because of the weight that was on it Second of all, it's bending down because it wants to, because it's trying to get some space between itself and this other branch up here so it can get some sunlight. But if you can look at the kind of the total shape of the tree, you kind of see that if we got rid of this one, and I'll do that right now, we no longer need that one because we're going to be working with these ones now that are filling out over into this direction. So that's a prune that that's a piece that we kept for last year a temporary decision but we decided its life span is now over and we got rid of that one this year so right here you can see one that we cut last year and we cut it right there and then that little branch died back about two inches there and then it went with this one here and it went with this one here and all these ones back here and you can see the angle on some of these like we would we would probably keep this one because it's got a nice curving angle up into a 45 degree this one we probably would get rid of and do something like this where we would cut out the center just get rid of that dead piece and this one that hangs funny and then we have two that are headed up into the right directions to form our bowl so that kind of concludes our follow-up on uh, the three-year-old peach tree if there's anything else that you guys want to know about how it compares to last year's tree, please tell us in the comments. We'd love to try to help you figure out those questions that you're having about how to keep 
growing the tree and expanding it and working it up to a mature tree. And we want to just thank you for taking the time to watch these videos with us. We will see you on the next one.